Hi guys, Fred here. Today we're going to solve a very simple torque diagram. Now this is the, the first type of torque diagram that we're going to look at in, in this torsional twisting section. And this one's fairly simple. Now, if you'll take a look at the sketch that I've made up here, we have a circular beam. And the circular beam is subject to five external loads, or five external torques, rather. Okay? Uh, we have a 10 kip feet torque, 15 kip feet torque, 30 kip feet torque, 15 and 20. Okay? And the distances in this case are irrelevant. Those are more for the angle of twist, but we'll get to that later. Okay, so for this question, all we have to do is draw the torque diagram. They're not asking for anything else. And it's actually very simple. Uh, the tricky thing about these types of questions is the direction. Now, the direction might start to confuse you a little bit. Um, just remember that you need to assign a positive direction right when you start, and then follow that. There are other times there are sign conventions that we'll use. We'll, we'll get to that later. For this one, I'll show you what to do. So, right down here, what we're going to do is... I'm going to let me just label these. This will be section C, D, and E. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to, and as we've spoken about before, when we want to find the internal forces of something, we're going to have to cut it at a certain point. Okay. So to find the internal resisting torque between A and B, we're going to need to cut it in between A and B. And that's what we've done here in this diagram below. Okay. So just like any equilibrium, equilibrium problem, we're going to write a series of equilibrium equations, okay? And we're going to designate a positive direction. Now in this case, the positive direction that we're going to take is going to be counterclockwise, okay? So the positive is going to be counterclockwise. And if we look at it, hopefully you can see this, is that my thumb is sticking out to the right here. That's a good way of visualizing it, okay? With the right hand rule. If I'm twisting with AB, my thumb is this way. Just a, just a little hint for you there. Okay, so let's begin. Let's find the internal resisting torque from A to B, okay? Okay, so now, like I said before, TAB in this case is positive. So we're going to write TAB as a positive torque, okay? And we also have 10 kip feet here, and the 10 kip feet is going the other direction, okay? So that's a negative torque. And it's equal to zero, obviously, because, you know, in everything we do in civil engineering, the shaft can't be moving, otherwise the, we're in trouble. Okay, so how do we continue from here? Pretty simple. We're just going to solve for TAB. That's it for the first section, okay? So TAB is 10 kip feet. Now uh, we're just going to repeat that exact same process except now each time we're going to cut through the next section. So the next time we're now going to cut through BC, CD, and then DE. We're going to do each of those separately. Okay, so what I've done there is exactly the same thing. I cut between BC and we assumed a positive torque direction of TBC and then we just had two external forces, 15 and 10, we added those together and we got 25 kips per feet, that's it's kip feet rather. And I will just write down, and you guys can just try this on your own if you want. And see if you get you know the same answer as me but it's exactly the same process guys for each section you just have to follow exactly what I did in the first and the second one that's it okay so we have to draw the torque diagram and when we draw our torque diagram we're gonna have a draw our y-axis here okay Make that a little bigger and 
we'll try and draw this pretty big for you. Just so you can see. And we're going to label it. Don't start at the origin, start a little bit off from the origin. And just write down the letters that we had in the beam. Just, so essentially what this is, is it's a representation of the internal torques inside the beam. So, you know, for example, if, if the, the question asks you to solve for something, like for example, the angle of twist, which we're going to do next, you can't just take these external forces. You need to use the forces that are acting inside the beam that are resisting these external forces or these external moments. And that's what the torque diagram represents. And this is very important in this entire section. You're going to know how to have to have to know how to draw the torque diagram every time. Okay, and we're going to fill this diagram in with these external tor or these internal torques that we solved for here. Okay, so let's do that now. So from A to B, we have 10 kit feet. Okay. Okay, from B to C, we have 25 kit feet. Okay. So, we're going to go up to 25, okay, that's one, okay, CD, negative 5, let's just do that so we're not confused, and we have 20, negative 20, okay. And that's it, guys. That's our torque diagram for this problem.